Welcome to Uncle C Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Last week, we started the story of Moses, and this week, we will continue part two. We can call it Moses and the Burning Bush. And the story is taken from Exodus chapters three all the way to chapter six. That's a lot of chapters. So Uncle C will probably just skim through some of the material. But as always, I will encourage you to read it with someone so you and someone can actually discover all of the story. The action text is taken from Exodus chapter three, verse 15. Then God said to Moses, I am who I am. When you go to the people of Israel, tell them, I am sent me to you. Now, last week, when we ended the story, Moses was a shepherd. He was taking care of the sheep, and he did that for many years. Then one day, he looked out, and he said, wait a minute, what is that? I see fire. Let me go and investigate. And as he looked, he said to himself, this is strange. The bush is on fire, but the bush is not burning up. How is that? And as he approached the bush, God spoke to him. He said, Moses, take off thy shoe, for the ground that thou standest upon is holy ground. And that teaches us wherever the presence of God is, that place is holy. Then God spoke to Moses. He said, Moses, I have heard my people. They are crying out. I promised them something a long time ago, and you are the man for the job. I want you to let them go. You will go to Pharaoh, and you will, you will tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Then Moses said, well, Lord, you know, I'm not really a great man. You know, why should I be the person, you know, can't you get somebody else to do it? And Lord said, no, no, no. Moses, I said, you are the man for the job. I'm going to let you do it. And Moses was, you know, going back and forth with God. And he was like, well, God, you know, if they ask me who sent me, um, who should I say? And he said, tell them I am that I am sent you. And he, he again, he said, well, Lord, and God stopped. Him. He said, look, let me show you two signs. What's that in your hand? He said, a stick. He said, toss the stick down. And when he threw the stick down, it turned to a snake. God told him to hold the snake by the tail and pick it back up. When he picked the snake by the tail, it turned back to a stick. So then he told him, put your hand in your bosom. When he placed it inside, his hand came out white. He was like, wow. He said, put it right back. Yeah. He said, those are two signs you're going to show the people. He said, you know what? They may not even... Obey after that sign. I'll give you a third sign. When you do it, you when they say no to you, take some water from the river, and when you toss it out, it's going to be blood. Then Moses said, well, you know, Lord, you know, I know you want me to go, but a guy like me, I don't really talk that good, and my speech is not proper. You know, some people might have said, me don't talk good. You know, I don't speak proper. And the Lord said, hey, who give man mouth? Who make man see? Who make man hear? Behave yourself. And, and Moses made another. He said, okay, okay, okay. I am going to send your brother Aaron. I will tell you what to say, and Aaron will do the talking for you. And Moses could not make any more excuses. He sent him on the way. So Moses went home, told his father-in-law, what happened? And he and his wife and their two boys went on their way to Egypt. Along the way, he met Aaron, and they were so happy to see each other because, remember now, they had not seen each other for years. Well, after that, they, went to, they spoke with the elders, and the elders you know, listened to Moses. He, he told them the story about how God wanted to deliver them, and they said, okay, go ahead, speak to Pharaoh. But it wasn't easy. When they went to Pharaoh, Pharaoh looked at him and said, I don't know your God. Why would you want me to let what? Let your people go? No way. These people are busy people. They have jobs to do. 
you know what? They're probably lazy. You want to do what? Go travel three days for a feast or some worship session? No, 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 no. That is not happening. Forget that. And Pharaoh said to the, um, to the taskmasters, you know what? Go to these Egypt, Egyptians. They want to go for three days? It's lazy, they're lazy. I am going to give them more work to do. And he said, let them make bricks without straw. And don't take any excuses. They need to make the exact amount. I don't want anything less. So the taskmasters went out and they went to the, to the Hebrew laborers, to the Hebrew foremen. And the, the Hebrew foreman came to Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, you, you, you are asking us to make bricks without straw? He said, yes, you are lazy. That's why you guys want to go out for, for some kind of tabernacle or feast or, or what? Three days in the wilderness? No, 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 no. You guys need, need to do more things. And they were upset. And when they came out, they saw Moses and they said, Moses, may you be punished because it's because of you. Pharaoh has made this thing even harder for us. You know, you, you are trying to make him kill us. And they were upset. And they went on their merry way. And Moses, oh, Moses, he went to God and he said, Lord, I did what you told me to do, but Pharaoh made it harder for my people. What should I do? How could this happen? And the Lord said, and the Lord said to him, hey, I have promised your people that I'm going to deliver them. I know you're upset. You are going to go back to Pharaoh. And if he doesn't listen to you, then things are going to happen. I am going to use my power on him. So he told Moses to go back to Pharaoh. Now, if I have to say the story in rhyme, this is what I would say to you. Moses saw the bush on fire and he got nosy. But God said, take off those shoes before you come to me. He then gave instructions for him to carry out and sent him away after answering each doubt. But Pharaoh got upset and couldn't take Moses anymore. He said, the Israelites are lazy. Let them make bricks without straw. Moses was upset with God, but God told him to depart. He said, go to Pharaoh. You will see the action now start. So boys and girls, he is on his way to Pharaoh. What's going to happen? Stay tuned next week for part three of the story, and you will see. All right, what's the answer? Are you ready for your questions? Question number one. What amazing thing did Moses see? A, a talking sheep. B, bush on fire that was not burning. C, five fires in a circle. Or D, snow in the middle of the desert. If you say B, a bush on fire that was not burning up, you are correct. Question number two, Moses asked God, who should I say sent me to them? And God said, A, tell them your creator sent you. B, tell them the one in the burning bush sent you. C, tell them I am sent me to you. Or D, tell them, ask no questions or just listen. Which one was it? If you say C, tell them I am, or I am that I am sent you, that is the right answer. Question number three. When God told Moses to go to Egypt, A, he wanted to leave immediately. B, he was hesitant and made excuses. C, he said he needed to find another person to care the sheep. Or D, he got excited and ran away and told his family. What's the answer? If you say B, you are definitely right. He was hesitant and made excuses. Oh, he made so many excuses. Final question number four. After Moses and Aaron met Pharaoh, A, he agreed to their requests. B, he told them to give him time to think. C, he made things even tougher for the Hebrews. Or D, he invited them to eat. 
And of course, the answer is C, C as in correct. All right, thank you so much for answering those questions. Now it is prayer time. Let's bow our heads and let's close our eyes and talk to our Lord. Dear Jesus, when you instruct us to do things, help us to do them without making excuses. Help us to trust you more, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I want to thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. My email address is unclecbiblelessons at gmail.com. That's unclecbiblelessons at gmail.com. That's if you want to write to me. And as always, please receive your parents' permission before writing. Well, that's all from Uncle C right now. I thank you so much. And remember, God loves you very much. Bye for now.